The Kukizo community in a strife-torn Kampopi district abstained from voting in the 18 Lok Sabha polls 2024. With three assembly constituencies, 46 cycle, 50 Kampopi and 51 Saitu, Kampopi has 1,3563 voters, including Kukis, Nagas, Nepalis and others, where the Kukizo community has the highest vote. Their abstention in the voting in all the three assembly constituencies deserted almost all the polling stations. Here's why the Kukizo community opted to abstain from voting. It's been nearly a year now and we haven't received any kind of help or any kind of um, acknowledgement from the central government, so to speak. I mean, uh, we've, been, we've been voting, I personally have been voting for over a decade and it seems like this time it seems like we're not even a part of India or we're not even uh, considered to be citizens of India because we've been brutally murdered, raped and paraded naked and our houses and our property has been looted. Uh, even like recently, just a few days ago, our locality was uh, looted openly. The commandos were there, no one said anything. They took everything which was there in the house left behind. They even stayed in our house without I mean, they said they have permission, so I don't know what kind of permission they took from who. And so they've been given the permission to live in someone else's house, which was very unlawful. And um, recently, uh, I know that we have all seen the two gentlemen who've been brutally decapitated and their torso has been uh, dragged around the road as if they're like animals. So basically, we've been treated like animals. And the central government, didn't even like acknowledge us in, in any kind of way. It's like we're not even uh, part of India. We're not. We doesn't even exist in the mind of the president. I mean, Prime Minister PM Modi himself. He hasn't even uttered the word "kuki" in the past 11, 12 months. It's like we. It's like he doesn't care at all that we are part of India. He doesn't care about us. So why should we care about this election? It's like we're not. He doesn't, we don't have the rights anymore. The state has been in total disrupt. The state has been unlawful for over um, 11 months. We've been crying for help. We've received no help. The attack has been going on. The state government, along with the commandos and the Manipur police, the police themselves, they took part in it. The, the central didn't say anything. It's like they allowed it somehow. So. We feel like we have no voice anymore. We feel like it doesn't matter what we do. They don't acknowledge us. So until and unless they themselves say that we are part of India, they themselves acknowledge us in some way, uh, help us in some way, we feel like it doesn't matter what we do. We, we Our votes are too precious to give it to them, give it to, give it to someone who doesn't consider us to be human beings. Zero person turn out of the Kuki people in Sadar Hills, Kuki area is an indication that people are not happy with the government. KSO would like to draw attention of the Indian government that unless the political injustice meted out to the Kukis is deal with the law of the land, amidst the inhuman killing and attack on our villages and surges, the Kuki in Sadar Hills will not vote like a normal this.